Hey Blimsters, it is the captain, and this is my favorite chef of the whole wide wonderful world, Chef Doreen Mills from Hannaford. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so good because you've brought more food. What are you making for us? Yes, so today I'm gonna be making you my chicken cakes. So for anybody who doesn't like crab meat, you do this with rotisserie chicken, dried cranberries, chipotle mayonnaise, jalapenos, chives, and it makes a delicious, delicious little appetizer. This is so easy too. Yes, very easy to throw together. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. So if you haven't heard yet, my family doesn't like seafood, but I love crab cakes. So this is a great little twist on it where I'm using rotisserie pulled chicken instead of crab meat. So to get started, I'm going to take my eggs, two cracked eggs. I'm going to take my chipotle mayonnaise, whisk this all together till well blended. Really scramble those eggs in there. I've taken actually a cold rotisserie chicken. I've pulled the whole bird. So this is two breasts, the thighs, the drumsticks. Um, I've pulled it off and then also kind of rough chopped it into smaller bits and pieces. So it's going right into my egg mixture. I'm going to take my dried cranberries and I'm actually going to chop these up a little as well too. So with dried cranberries, they can be a little tough to chop. So go ahead, use both hands on that knife and really kind of break those pieces up. Half a package of chopped and ready chives. Now for a little kick, I like using fresh jalapenos, but don't, don't cut it with your bare hands. Learn that lesson pretty well. So for the hand that's gonna hold or touch the jalapeno, use a glove, trust me. You don't wanna feel that sting and burn. Small dice, that way people aren't biting into a huge hot jalapeno. Nobody. And always keys season with salt and pepper. I love coarse salt, so probably about like two teaspoons, coarse kosher salt or sea salt, and fresh, you can tell I'm serious about my black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it all together. Remember there's raw egg in here, so I recommend wearing gloves again. But you're gonna take a nice little handful. You can use a scoop if you want, but you kind of want maybe two tablespoons worth of filling and you're just gonna press it down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep that kind of on a medium low heat. Oil, you can use um, olive oil, vegetable oil. I would stay away from butter because it will burn in the pan with the amount that you're gonna be cooking. You're gonna take the chicken cakes and kind of lightly press them into crushed panko. So what this is gonna do is give you that nice, crispy, crunchy bite and outer coating for these chicken cakes that will just make it you know, irresistible to eat. Now that my pan is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and put them in and let them toast and brown. And they shouldn't take too long, it's probably about three minutes per side. Just enough to make it nice and golden brown. And they'll cook all the way through. So you go ahead and flip them again. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Nice and golden and crispy. Off. Feel free to sprinkle with either more chives on top. And then I recommend also to using the chipotle mayonnaise as a dipping sauce on the side. It makes it absolutely delicious. But a great little appetizer, fun, delicious for those that don't like crab but do like chicken. Thanks. All right, here we go. This looks really good. Here come the uh, here Thank come you. the chicken cakes. The chicken cakes. All right, with the chives and the. Uh -huh. Yes. Mhm. 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 Happy feet. Come on, Dorian, Chef Dorian, get me with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want some happy feet mm -hmm. this holiday? This is amazing. I'm broadcasting with my mouth full. Hit the Hannaford website for all these inspirations. You are a genius. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays.